Hey guys, so it's finally time to start the YouTube channel. Uh, a little update on what I've been up to. Uh, it's been well, first of all, it's been a year and seven months since the accident, 14 surgeries later. I've been walking for a few months now. Uh, it's doing really good getting my medical back. And uh, in the meantime, while I've been waiting for my kit, I've been working on a harness system with Kit Fox to complement the Garmin avionics. Uh, my kit's ready now, and we are getting ready to head up to Idaho today. So I'd like to thank everybody who's made this happen for me, all the love and support I've gotten. It's made the journey manageable. Uh, my family and friends have been there along the whole way for me, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. And all I can say is thank you. And I'm excited to take you along the journey of building a new airplane. All right, so we're here at Kit Fox, and Woo! I look like an airplane. <laughs> okay, so as many of you know, I didn't build my first set of wings. Uh, I got those from Trent, and they were pre-built, so all I had to do was put them on my fuselage. So this will be my first set of wings, and uh, Brandon, would you mind explaining what we're doing? Absolutely. The uh, wings come as a quick-build wing, and people can uh, rig them themselves. In this case, you've opted to have us rig them at the factory like trained professionals. And so we have set the dihedral of these wings. We've set the uh, washout, which basically means that the root end of the wing is at zero degrees and that leading edge rolls down as you get to the tip, making for a better stall, char uh, stall characteristics. After that's all said and done, then we're gonna uh, set the uh, sweep of the wing, which uh, we want this at zero sweep. So if you look, see that green laser beam? We have a frickin' laser beam <laughs> setting the sweep. And we have come up with a clever device here that holds the laser parallel with the spar. And we run that down, we check that we have green centered on those bolt holes, and we have a receiving tower down at the other end that we can align the laser on, guaranteed that we have zero sweep. We have our drill guides, which are We've pre-aligned to the front bolt hole. Now, do these come in the kit? These do not come in the kit. Okay, this is a factory rig it's option, factory right? factory rig option. Okay. We use a spacer to hold that rib spacing. And then once we drill the back hole, we take that pressure off. This hole's already aligned. It's already and again, what part is it? Is this factory rig or is this part of the kit? This is factory rig. Okay. So they got all the trick tools to do this, simply incorrect. So because you've opted for our prefab kit, Nick, to make my life easier, uh, these parts come as a blank and a laser drilled or laser cut. Uh, these holes are already, already located for your 5 16ths and your 30s. Okay, now explain to me what I've just done here, because I have no clue. Oh, good point. <laughs> this, uh, this guy has gone through and match drilled this very end hole. So using a 516 bolt through there to align our, our 516 holes, you can kind of hold this together out here, match drill that one end hole. What that does is allow you to come in here, place the outside bracket on that. This feeds through to hold that in alignment with the holes we drilled earlier. This piece goes in. <clears throat> We're gonna use that to find natural resting spot on the spar. gun right there comes in the kit, right? I got this from a stormtrooper. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> no, this does not come with the kit. You can source these. They're about uh, $800. That's it. Uh, yeah. And then the not bad. I think everybody could use two or three of them. Pushing the bracket on the inside up to engage the rivet, giving it one pull. And that just sets it in place. Sets right? it in place. Come down. Opposite end. Are you doing the same thing there? Or one do those pull. Just... Okay. They give everything one pull. Is that the pop? Here we're shaping the, the lug where the uh, the main attach bolt uh, bushing is. 
and we're gonna shape this to kind of be the same shape as the inside of the spar. We don't wanna shave this down to where we have the spar with any play in it. Uh, if you do this soon enough after you put the brackets on, they'll actually go on, spread a little bit, and kind of give you a customized fit. But yeah, sneak up on that, you don't wanna to go too far too fast. So as Brandon was telling us, to not shave these down too much, look what he did. All right, it's the end of uh, day one of rigging Nick's uh, wings and putting uh, brackets on and doublers and all that fun stuff. We have here the number one rib. This is an STI wing, which is a bigger uh, profile, and we transition down to a smaller rib that will go to the butt rib that will go to the windshield. So uh, this will actually step down. Because of that, we put that rib on in three pieces. We have the large rib. We're only going to bond to the inside here. Let that sit overnight, then we'll come back in and stack up the other pieces that go in here along with their accompanying glue joints, and then we'll fit the butt rib tomorrow after the glue is set up. So uh, super simple, and uh, see you tomorrow. All right, so day two back here at Kev Fox, we are gonna get butt ribs set today. Uh, that's a pretty important part so you can get going on your fuselage. And I won't have my wings at the house, so need to do it now. Right now, we have gotten the number one rib set. And on the STI, this is what Brandon was talking about, how this drops down. And this is kind of the standard wing rib, more so, more or less. And then here's the butt rib. So that butt rib is set off of these ribs. And then these are the brackets that hold it on here. So once we get that set, the fuselage is ready to go without the wings for the rest of the build. Okay, so. We are done and wrapped up for my time up here. What we've got done is we got our first rib set, butt rib set, everything's complete here. So now I don't need the wings throughout the rest of the build of the fuselage. That's about the main thing that we gotta worry about. Is that correct, Brandon? Exactly it. All right. Thank you, sir. Boomage. All right, so we brought the small trailer for this and Brandon's gonna load it all by himself. Yeah. We're not helping. You got this, Brandon. All right, we're all wrapped up here, and uh, my kit's loaded up and ready to go. What do you think, Trent? This is the start. The I beginning. know. He's, he guilted me into this, and now I gotta do it. Whatever. Let's do it. It's you, fun. You started this. No, I didn't start it. Oh, I started it by crashing. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. But Redo. <laughs> again, thanks everybody for uh, making my dream come true again and getting to build another beautiful airplane. It's gonna be a blast. Can't wait to take everybody along. <laughs>